Hello everybody and welcome to my 13th Excel 2010 VBA tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use if statements. Um, so in the previous tutorial I showed you how to use boolean variables. So if statements make use of a similar concept to boolean variables in order to in order to control your program flow. So um, I'm going to write a quick program um, and it's going to ask you a question um, and then it's going to tell you whether you're right or wrong. Um, so pay attention. So first of all we want to ask the user a question. So we're going to give ourselves a dim answer as string. So that's a variable that's going to hold the um, the reply that the user gives. We then want to prompt the user, so answer equals input box and then do you like cake? And put a question mark in because otherwise I will be grammatically incorrect. Um, and so now it's going to say do you like cake? Uh, and then we're going to get it the user to put in yes or no. So they will type Y or N. Um, and then what we want to do, so we want to then test whether or not the user uh, has written Y or whether they've written N. So what we want to do here is we want to go if um, and then this is a keyword, so this is just saying if, and then we want to go answer equals y. So we're using our boolean variable then, well we're not using our boolean variable, we're using our variable, string variable to test y. But we're using it in the same way as we use a boolean. So we put in a boolean statement, this is called, um, and it's going to test whether or not this is true or false. Um, and then, and then, once it's tested if it's true or false, it's going to run this code here right up until we write end if. Um, so this is a little code block. So anything in here is only going to run if y equals yes, um, or, or if answer the input that the user puts equals y. And then we're going to put a message box. So message box. you may have plenty of cake then smiley face important that you put a smiley face in there um, or your code will get unhappy um, so let's just play this now um, so press play it's going to come up with an input box do you like cake I'm going to put Y for yes click OK and then, well, then it comes up, you may have plenty of cake then. Um, let's just play it one more time so I can show you what happens if I put no. Say N, press OK, and then it doesn't come up with a message box. So what it's doing is it's just, it's going to go down to here, it's going to test this. And then because answer is N, it's skipping straight down to the end if. Um, and I'm going to show you this quickly again, but I'm going to do it as a step. Uh, into so um, in your VBA code, click in here, and then if we press F8, um, then it's going to start our code. And you notice that it's highlighted this bit in yellow, so it's done the first line of code. Press F8 again, and it's done this declaration, and now it's on this line of code. Um, so F8 just steps into your code one step at a time, so it's going to be useful to show us what's happening within our program. So press F8 again and then it's going to come up with this. So do we like cake? You what? I don't like cake. Okay. Um, and then it's coming back into here. So now it's taken what I've written in here and made it equal to answer. So you what? I don't like cake. Let's put it in that variable. Um, and then it's come on to this test, so uh, answer equals y, y, so answer doesn't equal y, you can see it doesn't equal y. So if we press F8, you notice that it's skipped down a line, it's skipped down 
past message box and not done it. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use an if else statement. So it just advances your uh, statement a little bit more. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.